Hi, I'm District Attorney Summer Steffen, and thank you for joining me for this week's DA News. January is not only the beginning of 2021, it is also Human Trafficking Awareness Month. And that is a very important thing because with awareness, we can all fight human trafficking together. It's hard to imagine that in this day, we are still talking about modern day slavery that affects men, women, and children. In sex trafficking, the main target are teenagers with an average age of entry into sex trafficking of a 16 year old. This is something that we cannot tolerate. We fight this every day at the DA's office and through the Human Trafficking Task Force, but we need everyone out there to become educated, to see the signs. You can go on theuglytruthsd.org to learn more information. The more informed you are, the better it is for us to fight human trafficking together. On a related note, we are seeing that the internet crimes against children are increasing. And this is really logical and understandable, but really a horrific thing that's happening because of the fact that our kids are not in school, there's so much distance learning, they're spending an inordinate amount of hours on their tablets, on their phones. And this has been an opportunity for predators to come in and to do harm to them by recruiting them, by enticing them, by deceiving them, by asking them to do uncomfortable things. Sextortion and other images are online that are showing us that our kids are a target. So parents have to take action now. You have to talk to your children about the dangers that can come through their phone. You have to explain to them clearly that anyone that they don't physically know from their environment, from their family, from their school is a stranger. And to not talk to or accept invitations by anyone outside their circle of trust. And if anyone asks them to do anything that they're uncomfortable about, that they can trust you as a parent, they can come to you and talk to you about it, and you will help them become safe and make their presence online safe. There are many tips on how you can add security to your children's phones. There are many things you can do, such as with younger children, taking the phone and any kind of electronics away at night so that they can sleep and be safe. And you can learn the signs, such as isolation and secrecy, that are often very common for online exploitation of children. But knowledge is power, and this is the time Today is the time to talk to your children to make sure that they are safe online. Remember, you can go on sandiegoda.com for all sorts of resources, including how you can keep your kids safe online. Remember, we're here for you. Just reach out if you need anything, and we'll talk to you next week.